Hello and welcome. Um, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, whoops. Sorry, I'm kind of back on uh, PSP controls here. All right, three, two, one, go. Yeah, so I uh, downloaded the PSP emulator recently, and I've been hardcore playing Dissidia again. So, my A and my B are essentially mixed up a little bit here, but we'll, we'll figure it out. So, um, this is airing a week after the eclipse, which I hope some of you were able to see if you lived in North America. Um, it was fantastic, lasted a more than twice as long as the last one. And, you know, this time, this way my, uh, my mom and my stepdad were able to get to see one. Because the next one over in North America is not going to be for another 20 years, so. Uh, in addition, something I noticed over the past week is that I have hit 100 subs on my channel, which... Absolutely blows my mind. I never thought I'd be having any sort of success. I didn't think I was gonna flop necessarily, but just wasn't wholly expecting to get as much attention, notoriety, whichever you want to call it. Um, super grateful. I mean, I thank you everybody for you know who's watched and who enjoys. Uh, watching what I do, um, I was checking a com uh, somebody had commented on something I said about the Pepto Bismol looking suit in the last seed, and I I do not like the way my voice sounds on recording. So I'm glad that uh, y'all are able to ov overlook that. But, um, no, thank you everybody so much who's watched and who enjoys the slightly, maybe over-mediocre content that I put out. Dang it. Uh, I'm glad I can provide some <clears throat> amount of entertainment, some new insight on how to play this game, um, ALTTPR. Um, I'm happy to do it. So, again, um, I need main missiles to get missiles usable. I need power bomb- or er, bombs to get power bombs usable. There's my morph ball. And, uh, Sector Shuffle is not on, but the connectors are shuffled, so that could lead to some interesting shenanigans if I get an early screw attack. Don't need that. So, it might extend some of these a little bit, time-wise, but at the same time, I like having to go potentially to more than just two sectors, so. Um, speaking of two, that's where I'll go first. Uh, some of you may also be aware that there is a new uh, fusion randomizer being developed right now for uh, Randovania. It's not open to... Uh, the public. It's not, like, in public beta or public alpha yet. Uh. Um, but once it is, I intend to... Nice. Play that, help test it. Um. They've got some really neat stuff, uh, cooking. A really, uh, really dedicated, hardworking team who's been just absolutely just now, absolutely knocking it out of the park. Yeah. 
So within, you know, a couple months maybe that'll be uh, something I can do. Um, but otherwise, um, yeah, things are hanging in there. I would play Dissidia, I would record it, and it's Duo Decim, Duo Decim, however you're supposed to pronounce that, um, is what I've been playing, but because it's superior to the original in pretty much every way. Um, it's a little more mm, PG-13 than I'd want to have on here, just because of uh, a few uh, scantily clad villainesses, but I mean, Ultimation is not that bad. It's the Cloud of Darkness depiction that kind of makes me reluctant, but um, I think that may also just be one that I'm content to have as a solo thing. But, you know, I'm remembering why I put, you know, so many hundreds of hours into it originally. And I'm really enjoying myself with that. I may, however, do a playthrough of the Final Fantasy IV, uh, the PSP Final Fantasy IV. Just because that's the uh, the best version of the game, in my opinion. You know, I won't have like all of the grind fights and everything that I do in there, but... We'll see. Uh, I'll take that. Just in case I don't end up finding uh, ice miss missiles and ice missiles, or high jump or space jump in here, or I guess screw attack. Basically, as long as I find a way out, I'm good. But if I don't, then I'm gonna need to. That was way too far. Away. I'll need to return to that spot. Technically out of logic to come in here, but I don't care because I can do the wall jumps.
One more chance for there to be something down here, and then otherwise it's sector one, sector four, potentially. I didn't didn't lose out on much thankfully so um yeah i'm gonna guess sector four Because three, I can technically unlock green doors, but I don't... Do I want to? Not really. I mean, green... I can't really do a whole lot without missiles or charge beam. I can get out though, because I can uh, lower the water. Okay, that doesn't help. Double hurt. That's nice. That's really nice. Ooh, I thought it was red at first, but it's like hot pink. I freaking love it. Yes, please. I need more pink plasma beam in my life. Ow. If I touch that, I'm dead. Um, yeah, at first I thought that was red, but I just... Oh man, I love that. I'm a big fan of, like, dark pinks, like magenta and stuff, so this, this really, uh, this really tickles my fancy quite a bit. That does not. Uh, I'll take that. 
All right, back up to 3E. Yeah, I've taken to the the meme of just calling the energy tanks E. Which reminds me of that uh, the one EA Sports thing. E, 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 E. Uh, oh, could this be my missiles? No, it's power bombs. That's curse. Potentially useful, but cursed. Uh, I cannot fight Cerise. So I shall make my way to the exit. Yo, got the low height. Damn it, I have to go back. Okay, that's good. That means Sector 3 is safe now. Yo, what? That's kinda... That's more than kinda cool. That's awesome. Morph Ball makes it look kind of green, but it's just the, the shine off of it. Yo, that is an awesome suit. Oh man, I, I know what I'm going to be naming this video. Uh, sure. I'll check this. One of the things, one of the neat things that uh, the new in development rando RDV uh, fusion rando is that they make the door locks um, they put the door locks in the item pools so the security rooms can be things other than just vanilla security locks which means like you can get red doors right off rip and then you have to do stuff in lower sector 4 I'm really looking forward to being able to mess with that uh, okay, uh, I've got power bombs. Makes that a little easier. I, can, do I, I don't want to go into Sector 1 without missiles, though. Just because with, with, uh, because that kind of precludes me being able to check two speed items over there. One of these days, I'm going to get that. Ooh. Oh, whoops. Ooh. Not as cool as Varia. But I dig it. I'm gonna say, can I get a speed boost from there? You know, I'm gonna try. I don't think so. No. I am loving the colors. Starting suit wasn't too bad. I like the blue and the dark blue and yellow. Uh, we'll catch that on the way out. Um, I can't do a whole lot in here. I can check the item at the bottom of the shaft. Uh, can I? I can check this, but I can't get out. So I can't get that item but I can check it. Okay, it's nothing anyway. I can power bomb those. But... And I can check Bob, and that's about it. That... 
I can, however, get the speed boost out of here, so let's uh, do that. Also, technically, get the maze item, but I don't think that's gonna be anything. Charge beam! I can fight box. Do I fight box? Screw it. I can't R shoot though, that's kind of annoying. Um, no, why would I need to save? This fight is free. That's the thing. There's my missiles. See, I knew I knew Sector Three was gonna be worth it. Just do that in the first place. Ah, wave beam. Ah, pretty colors gone. Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh, sector one it is. Makes me wish I'd saved before box. Oh well. To be fair, this beam matches the suit better, so... I suppose there is that. Uh, sector. Ooh, I can also do sector one backward. Well, oh, partly. I can do the, uh... I can do part of Sector 1 backwards, but it's not really worth it since I haven't been in here at all yet. I'll try the Shine Spark trick, but if I don't get it, no big deal. Who needs to save? me most of the most of the time if my 98% uh, seed wasn't uh, evidence enough played this game for more than a, for about a week at this point no not a little bit more than a week at this point so I'm a little bit nervous about doing the uh, SAX quick kill I didn't open the door considering that the last couple of times I've completely beefed it E. E. Oh, this is a really healthy room. Makes it kind of green. Oh, that's a little, almost a little tinge of blue in there. Almost. Okay. I don't like it anywhere near as much as I liked the uh, hot pink plasma, but it does fit with. It does go with the suit, so it's not all bad. However, what is all bad is my inability to aim without, uh, what's it called? Wide beam would be really nice. So let's see what we got up here. Nothing.
Oh, that's that was not a double. Could never have been a double. More power bombs. That is our first boss of the run, ladies and gentlemen, and other. I don't know. If you identify as something else, sure. No judgment here. So Sector 1 had... Speed. So in a sense, I was kind of right not to come here. Uh, do I do Sector 5 or Sector 6? I can do the whole Sector 6 loop. I kinda, I, I'm kinda leaning towards 6. Or do I do main... I can't really do Yakuza and Reactor just because I'll have space jump. I mean, I can do Reactor and I can... I can also get into... Upper two and fight Natori and check that item. I'm gonna do that first and then I'm going to go to six. Actually, no, that would be the smart thing. The silly thing would just be to go straight to six and say, screw the rest of that. May have a college degree. And I may know some things, but I am not always smart in my decisions. But in this game, honestly, I think that's more fun. Sometimes it's fun to do dumb things. Uh, uh, well, what am I doing? I have power bombs. I'm thinking I can't get through that unless I spark through it. Well, of course I can. I have power bombs. Oh, I didn't know it would reach all the way over there. Okay. Mega Core is gonna be real fun without high jump. And it'd be better with screw attack just so I could screw into it and then be able to protect myself from damage. But it's okay. Lack of high jump is going to make this fight in the line as well.
Army stinking setting up for doubles is not worth it. This fight was not even worth it at all at all. And I can't check that without doing the loop, so... Oh, that's good to know that I can get that item without high jump. That was kind of just a uh, screw around and find out sort of thing, like, oh, let's test this. Scientific. Which is, uh, I believe, I can't remember if it, it was uh, Adam Savage or Jamie Heineman who said it, who said it, but... The only difference between screwing around and science is writing it down. Oh, I don't have frickin' high jump. I'm gonna say, why isn't my ball jump working? Because I don't have ball jump. That's kind of key to make ball jump work, is to have ball aforementioned ball jump. Uh, so I'm gonna go, yeah, Sector 2, fight Notori. Get the item above Notori, get the item below. I'm betting on Zosby not having anything. See, this, this is why we can't have nice things with Wave, because I can't freaking aim. <laughs> But hopefully Sector 2 will have my Wide Beam. I kind of hope it does not have my... What am I even... Oh, because I do need a jump. Granted... It te I technically don't. Because you can trigger the fight from where the um, navigation room and data room are, but... What, what's the fun in that? Because I, I could go beat the game right now. I have to do the whole Sector 5 loop, but I can complete it. What's the fun in that? Plus, I want to find White Beam. I don't need White Beam, but it's going to make life a whole heck of a lot easier. That and uh, Ice Missiles would be nice. And Supers. Give me my ability to aim again. Oh, another thing in the um, the new RDV randomizer is that major items have sprites. So it's not just a question mark. You can actually see what you're going to be picking up. And then, so if I see wave beam, I can be like, hey, cool, screw off. And then not pick up wave beam.
And doing this without high jump is really annoying. More missiles from Nitori. Um, I guess, uh, Fight Zazabi does kind of make sense, so let's just get it over with. And I can check the items in Ripper Tower as well. I can't fight Zazabi because I can't get out. However, with diffusion missiles and ice beam, well, I have to be really careful with ice beam, but with diffusion missiles I can get out, so. Really? <laughs> Damn it. Oh, this is a bad idea. Okay, so Sector 2 was 
a bus. I'm gonna check main deck. I haven't checked Arachnus. I'm just now realizing I never checked uh, Roly Poly Boy. So let's uh, let's do that. <laughs> Another thing that the uh, RDV version of this does is it fixes plasma beam, or not plasma beam, it fixes wave beam so that it's not as terrible. There's my jump item. Wide beam. Oh, 
Okay, not what I wanted to find. <laughs> to be honest. So you know what? I, just just for for hex and giggles, we're gonna go and uh, check reactor and fight fight the big spider. Uh, 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 do I? No. Oh. Maybe not fight the big spider. Okay, um... Screw it, I'm just gonna go. And, uh, break Sector 5. And just do it this way. Oh, right. Sector connectors are shuffled. Um, why am I going that I can get through every sector connector though since I have gravity suit and missiles so Oh, and another fun thing, they've redone some of Sector 5 to make sure it, it just never breaks. And they, so they changed the inactive red door in the non-broken state to a functional yellow door and removed the hatch from the, uh, the door to the Ripper puzzle. And they made a few other changes to the room state so that you don't have to... worry about any of that stuff anymore. And some of it makes potentially this whole section completely unnecessary. Then thread doors are randomized, or can be randomized at all. Sounds like a uh, setting that I want to play with. Not that I, you know, hate Lower Sector 4 or anything, it just becomes an issue of, you know, you get potential real, real quick jet seeds. Especially considering that uh, the SAX fight isn't working quite yet, so, of course, by the time it goes public, it'll be functional, but... If you find early plasma, I mean, you can just 
go and activate the Omega fight immediately and beat the game real quick. So no ice missiles, so we'll have to fight this the, uh, the good old fashioned way. And that's fine, because I can just worry about practicing the uh, quick kill another time. Maybe off camera I might do that. A little bit, uh... A little bit sad that I have agreed to do my next uh, Link to the Past rando with the Final Fantasy VI soundtrack. Again, I did do the Pixel Remaster soundtrack, so I know that's a little bit different, but um, hopefully it will um, still be good enough for the people who asked for it. Um, hopefully they'll still enjoy it. Um, but I just recently... Uh, well, I say recently, last week before, or last week end, before I left for the travel for the Eclipse, I started playing one seed just for fun with the I Am Setsuna music pack, and if you don't know about that game, it's made by Tokyo RPG Factory, it's very, very heavily influenced by Chrono Trigger, like, super heavy, um... You know, ran there's no random battles, they're all on enemies are all present on the screen, there's double triple techs. Some of the tech names are the same. Um It's not a copy. I mean it has its own story, it has its own characters, it has a different it has elements added to the combat system that make it unique. Um it's a cute little game. Um very emotional. Um, always uh, breaks me a little bit inside when I play it, but the soundtrack is like basically all piano, with a little bit of drum and bass for like the regular battle music and stuff. But that has that game has such a gorgeous soundtrack that um, so for my next next LTTPR. I will be using the I Am Sets in the Music Pack because it is just so beautiful. I love that game so much. But as promised, I will be doing this week's uh, Link to the Past randomizer with... Uh, with Al, yes. I will be doing it with the uh, Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remaster soundtrack. And then Friday will be more of this, and then next week more of the same. Still trying to figure out other games I could potentially add into the rotation. Um, like I said, I kind of want to do a Dragon's Dogma playthrough. So we'll we'll see. Maybe I can do like a quick one-off or something as like a hundred subscriber special, even though I'd be like two weeks late to it. But, yeah, we'll see. I got time to think of things, and if anybody has suggestions, um, I don't really have a lot of money, so if it's a game I don't already own, um, chances are I probably won't be able to do it. But if it's a game I already have, um, you know, games that I've mentioned before, um, you know, let me know. I'm always open to suggestions.
Beefed it. but I'm not surprised. Not too shabby. Apologies for my yawn and my creaky chair. Yeah, for my first run in a week and a couple days, not too bad. Curious to see where my uh, high jump and my uh, other missiles were, though. I have a feeling that Ceres might have had something, Yakuza might have had something, and Sector 5, obviously, I didn't go into Sector 5 at all. Lower 6 might have had something, and farther into lower 4 might have, but... I mean, I was mostly just waiting for wide beam, because I didn't feel like doing that fight uh, with just the rotini. Now, if I hadn't found wave, it would be an entirely different story, but... but um, outside of, like, purple, because obviously I, purple's my favorite color, um... I say obviously because I've mentioned it before. Um, that hot pink plasma was one of my favorite, if not my absolute favorite outside of the purple ones I've seen as far as colors for it, for, uh, for beams in general, but especially for plasma. Okay, so lower sector four, lower sector four. Or missiles. Theris. Yeah, go figure. Why well, you not know they say Saris is always worth? Well, I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, thank you again for over a hundred subs at this point. I can't thank you enough. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I'm glad that people enjoy my content. I'm glad I can entertain people, make people laugh, what have you. Um, so I hope wherever you are, uh, you have a good day, good evening, whatever time of day it might be. I hope your week starts off smoothly. And if you have been, thanks for watching.